Hey everyone, Mike here with Musio. Let's talk a little bit about articulations. So if you look at the coming soon page at Musio.com, you'll see that we are working on adding articulation switching to Musio. That'll be coming soon. But I wanted to talk a little bit about what your DAW can do today. Uh, articulation switching is very important as a composer, especially if you're someone who does a lot of uh, music that's cinematic or you write music for media or orchestral music. You want to be able to art switch between these different articulations. And if you're not familiar, an articulation is the way that a note is performed. It could be short, like staccato, long, like a sustain or legato. Um, they have all these, you know, Italian terms and everything. But you want to be able to switch between them. Uh, and the way a MIDI keyboard works is you kind of have two dimensions at play. But virtual instruments tend to be three dimensions when it comes to what you need to perform. The first dimension is the pitch, right? So every note of the instrument has been sampled so that you can perform all of those pitches. But then every single one of those pitches has a velocity. That would be how loud or how soft you can play a note, right? Right, so you have to capture all of that. So that's what you can do with a key bed. You basically have, you could choose the pitch, you can choose the velocity. But then how do you handle the articulations? Well, uh, different people like to work in different ways. Um, I like to use sometimes the velocity map where if you press a note really hard, you get the longer note. If you play really quietly, you can get the shorter note. Uh, some people just like the old fashioned key switch map where you can basically, and that's how I have this set up, where that's the staccatissimo. Right? Or you can have legato. So that way it's all in one patch. And the most realistic, if that's your goal, the most realistic mock ups are where people are spending the time to program these articulations. Um, and so I have an example here that will uh, have, well, we've got the Indiana Jones movie coming out soon, so I thought I'd. Uh, you know, try to do a quick little mock-up. This is the trumpets and trombones playing in octaves. Uh, and in Digital Performer, you're able to do this. And I know this works for Logic and Cubase and a few others where you can actually set up this articulation map. Um, so have a listen. So you can see how each note has, it kind of jumps around between staccatissimo, staccato, uh, sforzando, tenuto, which I'm actually combining together. And that's how you get that articulation. Uh, if it was just all one articulation, you would just have, it would just sound like this. Oops. And, you know, uh, if that's the performance you're looking for, you can do that. but. A real trumpet player is not going to do that. They're, they're going to articulate things different ways. Right? And that is really important. So... While we uh, work on adding articulation mapping to Musio natively, um, take a look at what your DAW can do because it's it's that's how I like to work. I set up my templates so that I can have all of this stuff easily accessible, and often your DAW will have visual ways of deciding what is a staccato, what is a you know legato, and all of this stuff, and you can move stuff around. Um, some would say uh, that it's actually more efficient to work this way rather than have a bunch of plugins that have all of this articulation mapping built in. So um, anyway, just a short video just to kind of like maybe consider taking a look at your DAW 
look at the articulation map if you're starting to rebuild your template dive in and and um, and have a look at this because i feel that this is uh, often an untapped resource for people if you don't want anything to do with that then just uh, hang tight and we're going to have it all natively in museo uh, in a way that uh, makes it really easy for you to just just do it right there um, all right thanks for watching bye bye